you can now create professional videos without the need for a presenter. Text-to-speech voiceover software can help you do that. But the main challenge is that this software either sounds too robotic or will cost you money. Thus, here's how you can generate realistic text-to-speech voiceovers for free. For that, we will be using a software named ClipChamp. ClipChamp is one of the most popular online video editing software. You can use the software or its online platform that lets you edit videos online to generate text-to-speech voiceovers. Though ClipChamp is a video editing software, it has the feature of generating free text-to-speech voiceovers. Let me show you how it works. First, go to the ClipChamp app. However, if you want to use it online like I'm doing here, then go to clipchamp.com, the link to the site is mentioned in the description. Now, once you land on ClipChamp's homepage, click on sign in here in the top right corner and sign in or create an account from any of the options given here. Next, you'll land on ClipChamp's dashboard and click on create a new video from here. A new project will open, give it a name here. For example, here I've written the TTS test. Next, go to the left column here. Click on record and create. And now click on text to speech. Here, a new column has opened on the right side of the screen. Here, you need to make selections for your voiceover. First, in the text box, enter the entire text that you want to convert to speech or voiceover. Now, from here select the language. You'll get plenty of options. I've selected the English United States. Now, from the voice option here select the voice that you want. I usually prefer Jenny. To check how the voice sounds, click on here this voice. Next, click on Advanced Settings. From here select the emotion of the voiceover, like Neutral, Chat, Assistant, Angry, etc. If you are making a tutorial video like me, I suggest you go with Cheerful. Next, from the Vocal Pitch option, select the pitch of the speech. I'll keep it at Medium, however, you can select according to your requirements. From here, select the pace of the speech, you can keep it at 0.5x, 1x, or 2x. If you want a pause in a sentence, add a comma, and if you want a longer pause, add a full stop or change the paragraph. Once all these settings are done, click on Preview to check how it sounds. Once all looks fine, click on Save. Now, the voiceover audio is added to the timeline here. Next, click on the Export option here. Now, select the quality. The ideal quality would be 750p as we just want the audio. Please note that the file will be exported in the MP4 video file. Next, we need to convert the video MP4 file into an audio file. Here I'll show you two ways to do that. First is by using an online website named FreeConvert. For that, go to the FreeConvert website, the link to the site is in the description. Once you have landed on the website, click on Choose Files and upload the MP4 file of the voiceover here. Once done, click on Convert and in a few seconds your MP4 file will be converted into an audio file. Now, click on the download button here and download the converted audio file of the voiceover. And now you can add this voiceover audio in your videos while editing. Now that was one way to convert video files into audio. The second method is by using the Final Cut Pro software. Open the Final Cut Pro software. Now, drag and drop the video file of the voiceover here on the timeline. Now, right click on this and click on Detach Audio. Now your audio will be separated from the video. Simply add the video content of your choice here and delete the detached video part. Next, let me show you how you can sync the voiceover with the video while editing it. For that, go back to the Final Cut Pro project. 
Here, you have the voiceover audio that we added previously. Now, here let's add the video, for that drag and drop the video that you want to add to the voiceover. Now this part of the video should be added to its respective voiceover, so we will put a cut on the video by pressing Command plus B. And then a cut on the audio part in the same way. Now, ensure that for this part of the video, the voiceover that matches this part is only played. Similarly, make adjustments in the rest of the video to generate a video with the voiceover of your choice. And that's all, it's done! Check LearnWoo.com for more videos, articles, and resources related to websites, WooCommerce, and WordPress. If you like this video give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep getting updates on more such videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.